Now let's welcome back to the show from Senate Education, Senator Mike Braun. It's great to have you on again, sir. It's good to see you again. So good President, to it's good to have you on. So President Biden's inaction inertia here, when it's the states doing the, doing the cleaning up, it's Florida, Texas, it's police in New York taking care of this. News coming in just now, they're making arrests at Fordham. President Biden is largely AWOL, sleepwalking through this. You know, Senator, parents and students are scared. Show the images, by the way, of cops and also at UNC Chapel Hill putting back up the American flag. What do you think of this? I think what he's seeing is something that he's fomented with this woke ideology. It's finally boomeranging back at him. And when you're in an election like this, where he's hemorrhaging in all the swing states, uh, you see what's happening on campuses. Uh, sure, he's going to try to sell loan forgiveness, climate, a bunch of other stuff. Here's what we've got. We've got colleges that cost us way too much. I think tuition at Columbia is 66 grand. UCLA, I guess a bargain at 15,000. But think of the public universities. Taxpayers pay for most of that. They generate degrees oftentimes that don't land a good job. And then they got to finance the loan forgiveness. And you combine all the woke ideology that's mixed with it. I hope Americans are paying attention because that's the dysfunction of when you try to please too many people. You do it with a woke ideology that comes back to haunt you. That's what he's dealing with right now. Yeah, and it's taxpayers funding basically social justice warrior factories. They're pumping out social justice warriors. You know, maybe this is what you do. You suspend, expel, and publicize, make public the names of anyone attacking Jewish students so all future employee employers can see this. You know, we had, let me just go through it, violent anti-Semitic protests at UCLA. Dozens were injured. Protesters at Columbia arrested and charged with burglary and trespassing and more. Nearly 1,300 arrested nationwide now, Senator, in 23 states. But we got to get to this. Columbia, UT Austin, police, mayors like Eric Adams warn outside hired guns, outside professional anarchists, Hamas terrorist sympathizers are radicalizing students. It's like the group Students for Justice for Palestine. While they were at Columbia, they got more than $3 million reportedly every year from money flows linked to Hamas. I mean, you got all that, and then you hear about faculty at these places that may be right in there with the students. I just wonder what the parents think that pay the bills that should be out there having some control over the universities that they support. What do they think? They are going to be the voters that go out there and go to the ballot box that maybe say, hey, enough is enough. When you've got a system, that has evolved into this, and it's represented in many other ways, like the riots of 2020, when you're burning down your own cities. You do have people like George Soros and others that finance a lot of this broad ideological stuff on the Democratic side of the aisle. Sooner or later, it comes home to roost. You know, Senator, you know, Wall Street titans like uh, Jeffrey Gunlack is speaking out, demanding Biden do much more. You know, let's listen, by the way, to New York City Mayor Eric Adams about how these outside groups are radicalizing our children. You're going to also hear from former President Trump, also House Education Chair Virginia Fox. Watch this. There is a movement to radicalize young people. This is a global problem that young people are being influenced by those who are professionals at radicalizing our children. And I'm not going to allow that to happen as the mayor of the city of New York. You look at the anti-Semitism, the hatred of Israel by so many people. Biden is supposed to be the voice of our country, and it's certainly not much of a voice. It's a voice that nobody's heard. And uh, look, I don't think he's... I don't think he's able to do it. I don't think he's got what it takes to do it, but he's got to. We have a clear message for mealy-mouthed, spineless college leaders. Congress will not tolerate your dereliction of duty to your Jewish students. Okay, so as the president is accused of sleepwalking through this anti-Semitism, what is the Senate, what do you think the House is going to do? We know that seven House committees are focused on this. What do you think is going to happen, sir? Zero, because Chuck Schumer 
won't take any of this stuff up and you need 60 senators to get anything done legislatively. But your mayors will, your states will, Liz, because that's where there's accountability. Even Mayor Adams, Mayor of Chicago, Mayor of other places on the immigration issue, they know how that ends up. Other people have to take care of it. This place won't. Schumer won't. Got it. Senator Michael Braun, thank you for joining us tonight. It's good to see you. My pleasure. Now, look who